Welcome back to Houston Life. Houston has a vibrant theater scene, and if it's been a minute since you've seen a show, Houston Theater Week is the perfect chance. Sure is. All week long, you can score buy one, get one free tickets to hundreds of music, dance, and theater performances right here in the Houston area. And joining us now with more on the third annual Houston Theater Week, we have Hillary Hart with Theater Under the Stars, that's Tuts, and Amy Gibbs from the River Oaks Chamber Orchestra. Welcome you both. Thank you. Thank okay, so let's start with this mutually beneficial exchange because, okay, it's a great deal for Houstonians to go in and watch all kinds of shows, but also for the performing artists here in the city. Let's talk about that. Yeah, I think one of the things that's the most understated is the incredibly vibrant and dynamic arts and culture scene we have here in Houston. Houston is home to thousands and thousands and thousands of artists. Some you see on stage, some are working backstage. And so to have an opportunity for us to share uh, the art that they make, the art that they create with our greater Houston region is, is absolutely paramount and important. And Hillary, we should point out you are the executive director of Theater Under the Stars. Mm -hmm. We're huge fans of Theater <laughs> Under the Stars. Amy Gibbs, you're the managing director of the River Oaks Chamber Orchestra, now celebrating 20 years. Yes. And we were just chatting during the commercial break. The art scene in Houston, I, I feel, is one of our best kept secrets, right? At least oh. for people who don't know the Houston art scene. Why do you think it is that artists, uh, you know, what fuels that? Because we really have artists from all over the world who have their eyes set on performing here in Houston. You know, that is a really great question. You know, we're really fortunate to have some incredible performing arts programs in our universities here. Uh, I think that's a big part that drives it. And one of the things that really speaks to what we do with ROCO is Houston, as we know, is, is an innovation city. And I think a lot of the work that the organizations here are in Houston are doing is really quite different and unique and innovative compared to some of our peers across the country. Um, I think that's a big part of it. And, you know, Roco, we're known as one of the most innovative organizations in the country. We've been integrating technology, live streaming back in 2013. Um, and I think that's something that keeps our community being really, really vibrant. Speaking of vibrant, I mean, we're getting watching some of Roco in action right now. And it is, I mean, it is a sight to behold. It's a treat for your eyes, for your ears, just the whole experience. We always try to implore people to, to come out. But let's talk about also the economic impact. Hillary, I mean, there are just, I get back to the benefits because it's just so many pluses, so many pros, and, and really no cons when you're talking about supporting the local art scene. 100% accurate. I think one of the things that we have not done a good job of as a sector, as an industry, is talking about what economic drivers we mm -hmm. are for our communities that we serve. Last year, art and culture contributed $1.4 billion to the Houston economy. Wow. And so when you think about it in terms of the, the buying the ticket, the making the philanthropic endeavor and investing in a company, irrespective of the medium, you're talking about an opportunity to invest back into the city of Houston that we love. Yeah. And Hillary, what I love about going to the theater, not only, it, as Tessa mentioned, it's a win-win-win because you are part of a community as a, as a theater goer, as someone who's purchasing a ticket, you're gonna become more invested in the art scene, which is so critical to our local economy here. Amy, uh, let's turn back to Rocco for a moment. You just uh, were recognized as the number two orchestra in the world to perform works of, uh, you know, works from women and composers of color. This is a very prestigious honor, but also Rocco and Tuts, those are some of the larger companies, the, mm -hmm. the more well-known titles that we hear about. And one of the reasons why Houston Theater Week is so important is because it can help shine a light on these smaller theater yes. companies, which are also so critical. Yes, you know, I think everyone is really aware of the work that the organizations that are downtown, like Tut's Symphony, Opera, Ballet, but I think what a lot of folks are not aware of is there are hundreds of organizations that are presenting incredible art all across the city. And so I really encourage folks to check them out. You know, there's dozens of them that are involved in Houston Theater Week. So take advantage of that BOGO offer and come out to a Rocco show. We'd love, love to have you. Um, but 
get, use as an opportunity to try and get to know an organization that you may not be familiar with. I'm so glad yeah. this point is so critical yeah. too because every time you can go off the beaten path and go to oh, one yeah. of these smaller theater companies, oh, when yes. I've gone to those shows, I've been blown away at the talent. And I think it's just kind of a nice surprise, like, wow, we have this much talent mm -hmm. in our city. Yeah, the intimacy is amazing, the talent right there in your face, and it is incredible. Hillary, just one more note I wanted to make. You know, this is something, Houston Theater Week, you helped get this reopened after we kind of went through the pandemic, everyone was maybe maybe not sure about going out. What was that process like? I think, you know, our goal is that arts are accessible to everyone and being one of the first industries to be shut down and one of the last to reopen, I think we were looking for a way um, to help our community get back into the habit of coming out and being together and building community one performance at a time. And so working uh, with our colleagues at Houston First, um, we came up with this idea of adapting what was a, a historic program in New York, New York Theater Week, to the Houston market. So we adapted it. Um, and while you are um, buying tickets this week, it's good for performances all throughout our 24-25 season. So wow. if you don't know if you're going to be able to go to the theater next week or next month, but you do know you want something special to do for the holidays, or you know that you have, in our case, a special affinity for Lin-Manuel Miranda in the Heights is coming in May, you can buy tickets to shows that far out now. Wow. Oh, and that's great. great Plan ahead, and you're seeing just a sampling of some of the shows. Again, buy one, get one free ticket deals to more than 230 live performances from 22 professional performing arts groups. So there is a special code to use. It's H-O-U Arts. As Hillary just mentioned, you can book it now and you can enjoy it for this entire season. Hillary Hart, Amy Gibbs, thanks so much for stopping by and Thank thanks for what you're doing for the Houston community. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Yes. yes, arts accessible to all. It's so important. Don't miss out on the deals. We have provided a link on our website, HoustonLife.tv. Houston Theater Week continues all week long. It's for your A-type friends. that they weren't, They're going to plan your life plan in ahead. advance anyway. <laughs> there so you go. There, here's their chance. Put it on your okay. calendar.